Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the Spigot series. In this episode I'll be showing you how to create tasks and schedule tasks in the Spigot and Bucket API, okay? So if you're wondering what a task is, it's basically just a piece of code that you can save for later on. You can basically schedule it, which means that you can tell the program when to execute it at a certain time, okay? So it's kind of similar to a function because a function is a piece of code that you want to save and you can basically run it at any time that you want to run it. But a schedule is, it kind of has some more functionality. It's like a schedule, I mean like a function, except that you can specify when you want to run it. And then if you want to repeat it, you can also specify how long you want to wait until it repeats, okay? So it's pretty cool. You can see some cool little things we can do with this. So if you want to get some more information, some detailed information on how to use it, you go to this link here. I'll leave the link in the description for you. Um, this is just the, um, the reference for how to use it. So the first thing we want to do whenever we schedule a... Um, a task is we need to create a task obviously right so let's just move this over here so I made a new project here and we can go ahead and delete this thing here of course we don't need that just like always so we need to create a task like I said so we're gonna create a simple task that repeats a piece of code right that's a very common thing for a task to be so to be structured we want to create a package here I'm gonna call it tasks so so all of our tasks will be in here so we're gonna create a class for our task and we're gonna call it cool task that's what we're going to call our task. And so now that we have our task, uh, just ignore this. You're not going to see that probably. So to make this class that we just created into a task, all we got to do is do extends bucket runnable. Okay, so that's going to, um, you know, add all of that stuff. So this bucket runnable class here is very similar to the um, classes that are available for regular Java programs like the Java library. There's a task timer and a timer class for, you know, doing tasks like this in regular Java. So this is very similar, it's built upon that, you know, this, what we have here, it's built upon that. So you're going to see a lot of similar stuff, okay? So anyway, let's create our task now. So to create a task, what we need to do is add a method here. As we can see that we, as we can see, we have an error here because we have not implemented the uh, abstract method run. So we can simply do public and then uh, tab the rest of it for autocomplete. And so inside of here, inside the run method, that's going to be the code that is run whenever the task runs, okay? So as soon as the task is run, this code um, here will be run, okay? So we could do s out and we could say something like task has been run, okay? So this will be run. That's pretty cool. So it's very similar also to a, a thread. It's actually pretty much is a thread. Um, it's very, very pretty much the same thing. But anyway, so one more thing we're going to do is get a reference to the main uh, plugin class here. So we could do tasks bucket plugin. And then we're going to, what we're going to do is make a constructor for this um, task here. So whenever we create it, um, it has a constructor and whatever. So there we go. So we can use this plugin, um, what's it called? This plugin uh, reference here. Um, when we have more uh, advanced tasks, we can um, get some information from the plugin and just do a bunch of stuff if we need to, okay? So just have that there whenever you make a task and then you'll need it whenever you need it, okay? So anyway, now that we have our task here, that's all you need to do to create a task. So now we can actually run it. So what we need to do to run a task is schedule it. So to schedule a task, all we got to do is go to where we want to schedule it. Usually you can do it in your main method. You could do it anywhere you want to usually. And so what we need to do is create a bucket task object so bucket task import that from scheduler and so we can give this a name of uh, cool task is equal to and then now we need to create a new instance of the task uh, the class that we just created for the task so new cool task cool task right so basically what it's going to do is cast this into this kind of it's kind of that's pretty much what it's doing so now we just do control p so we need a parameter here so it's asking for the plugin so we just do this and that's our parameter and that's all we got to do we just create a task here but now that we have our task we also need to run it so we need to do run task timer okay well that's one of the methods as you can see here there's a bunch of methods we can do with this there's a uh, run task timer asynchronously there's run task timer and some of them are very similar some of them are different but the main ones that we have here is run task later which is going to um, ask for a delay so that's going to run it once but it's going to ask for a certain amount of time so you can basically do zero if you want to but if you put 20 for example 20 l because it's a long you can say that you want you want it to run 20 seconds after or no tw one second after this piece of code is run so basically it's asking for a delay how long do you want to wait before running this task okay so we'll, we'll see an example of that but that's what that does and then the second one the main one that you want to use is run task timer which is going to do, basically do the same thing it's going to ask for a delay it's going to ask for instance of the plugin but it's also going to ask in a third parameter for how long you want to wait before it wants to repeat okay so that's kind of useful too so let's Let's try one of these out. We'll do the simple one first. So run task 
run task later. And so it's asking for instance of the plugin. So this, because we're in the main plugin class here. And so now it wants a delay, which is going to be the amount of ticks that you want to um, wait before running the task. Okay. So a tick is basically, uh, I believe, 0 0.05 seconds. But an easier way to remember is that a tick or one second is 20 ticks. Okay. So if you want to wait one second, for example, we have to put 20 L and you have to put the L on the end. I don't think you have to, but you put the L on the end because it's a long, right? It's asking for a long. And so that's how you specify ticks usually. And so let's say we want to wait, we want to wait five seconds. So all you got to do is do 20 times five because 20 is one. So 20 times five is a hundred. So just some simple math. So whatever, however many amount of seconds you want to wait for, just do that times 20 and then you'll get the number. So yeah, um, so that's how that works. So again, the way this is going to work, okay, um, whenever the plugin starts and the plugin starts up, it's going to wait about five seconds, you know, 100 ticks, and then this task is going to start running. And whenever the task runs, it's just going to print out the task has been run into the console, okay? Really, really simple. So that should work. No problems there, if we did it correctly, at least. So we're going to run this now, and we should get no errors, hopefully. Oh, wait, we, we actually need to go into our palm and get rid of the slash here. So slash, slash, there we go. So, um, yeah, so let's run this again. All right, so no errors this time, that's good. So we need to actually go into our target folder here. So show and, show and explore. And what I'm gonna do in a few episodes, maybe next episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to output the plugin into an actual server plugins folder instead of having to go into here every single time. So stay tuned for that. So anyway, we're gonna go into here, go into target, uh, copy the plugin, and then go back into server, go to plugins, paste it just like that, okay? So now we can start up our server here and we should see if it works or not. So watch the server very closely. So once it's done starting up, we should be able to wait five seconds and then we'll see the message that the message or the code that we want to be run, it should run, okay? So we'll see that. So wait a second. Okay, so the server started up and as you can see, it says the task has been run, which is good. So that's it, that's how we make a task here and now you know how to make a task, very, very simple. So again, all you gotta do is make a new class, whatever you wanna call it, doesn't actually matter. Just make sure that you extend bucket runnable in that class, okay? And then inside of that, all you gotta do is implement the run method and then after that, you just create the, the uh, constructor and all that and then you're good to go. And then after that, you gotta um, schedule it basically, you know, with the methods here. So we just create a new bucket task, new of the, you know, class that you just created. Um, and then you do run task later. Okay, so that's how that works very very simple. Hopefully that makes sense So run task later. Let's try doing the run tax timer, which is going to um, Allow us to repeat it also. Okay, so this and it asks for a delay So we don't want to delay this time. I'm not going to have a delay So I'm gonna just do 0 L whatever doesn't matter And so now we can get a long period which is going to be how long we want to wait until we repeat it right like I said so we can do I'll just wait five seconds again. So 100 L there we go and so now that's going to repeat every five seconds if we did that correctly. Okay, so now let's run this here. And then I'll see you in the server. Okie dokie, just added it. So I'm going to reload now and watch what happens. So we should see down here the task has been run. And now we're going to count to five in our head. And it's going to do it again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, one. Yeah, you can just do that over and over and over. And that's how you do that, okay? Um, so there's some more stuff we can go back to if we look on this documentation here. There's some more things we could do. We could uh, um, we could also do a self-canceling example in case you want to make it cancel if you want to. Okay guys, so there's another type of task I'm going to show you. It's called the anonymous uh, task. So we can do that by just creating a new bucket runnable. Right? And then we could simply uh, expand this here. And then now we could do the run method. So public avoid run. And so inside of here, this is going to be the, you know, the code for the task. So we could simply do S out that again. Okay, so this is a simple way to create a task because we don't have to create a new class for our task like we did last time. So if you want to create, uh, if you want to quickly create a task, that's just one way to do it if you want to. Okay, make sure you have a semicolon right there. So that's another way to do it. And then if we run this, it would work. Okay, so that's just an anonymous thread. So one more way to do it is with the bucket scheduler. It's a class. So we could go and we'll just, let's get rid of this. And so we need to create a new scheduler, a bucket scheduler schedule. This is going to be the thing that manages when it's going to run and all that stuff. So it's get server dot get scheduler. So this is just another way to do a task, by the way. But the the first way is simple enough. You can do that if you want to, no problems. So we can do schedule scheduler dot, and then we can call all of these methods. There's a bunch of different methods we can call. So we did run task later, run task timer. It's basically the same methods that we just did a second ago. 
but it's a different way to do it basically okay so we could do run task lay uh, run task later just like we just did so now we can do new runnable so we could create a new runnable inside of here and then inside of here we could do something like that okay and so after that after this we can we could specify control p we could specify the, the uh, delay so 20 l that's one second so this is another way to create i guess you can call it an anonymous class if our task if you want to just another very very simple way to create a task okay so anyway i just want to show you those extra ways how to do it if you want to but the first way is the main way to do it all you got to do is create a new class extend bucket runnable and do all that fun stuff okay so if you have any questions about what i showed you today you can ask in the comment section below if you have any suggestions on what you want to see for this spigot series you can go into our discord server go into the suggestion channel and then you can suggest anything you want to and then people can upvote your suggestion if they really want to see it as well so yeah, just do whatever you want. So if you have any questions about what I showed you, um, you can always go into our Discord server also. Just ask questions there. So make sure you do that. Join our Discord. The server link is in the description for you, okay? All right, so that's it for this episode. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.